I got 8%, so I'll make it short and sweet. Sales over. I pulled in almost $11,000 in three days, so I'm kind of proud of myself. So I'll admit it, I'm proud of myself. It was a good sale. It was good seeing a lot of you. That said, I still have half a trailer of stuff from that uh, unit I got in Rockford in July that I haven't gone through yet. So I'm going to do that today. I was going to bring you with me, but the battery's only at 7% now. So and it was really cold out today. It was like 60 degrees out the other day. Now it's like back to 30. So yeah, kind of shocks your body into like thinking it's winter again. Go figure. So, I'm going to go outside and work on that for a bit, leave you guys on the charger. Uh, I'll show you what I come across today, and at the end of this video, I'll show you guys all of the cool t-shirts and stuff that I found going through this locker. I put them all aside, and I've been cleaning them because that's what you do with dirty things, you clean them. So, I think you're going to like to see those. There's some pretty cool ones in there. I, I I try turning the notification on my phone off and don't go off, so I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. But I, I might actually look into doing like one of those whatnot auctions with the t-shirts, so it might be a possibility. We'll see, but we'll see you guys in a bit. Get you on the charger. And watch you guys chill. See you later. So it's kind of anticlimactic, but uh what I found today. Wasn't much. Filled uh, a few totes of miscellaneous stuff. Found some more pretty cool shirts. Bring those home and wash them. And uh, I'll show you guys all the shirts that I found. Overall, found one single Nintendo game. It was uh, God, I can't remember the name of it. Double Dragon or something like that for uh, Game Boy. That's it. Just one game. So, that is what it is. I did find Neil's Lunch. Yeah, Neil's Lunch. Check this out. It's a hood ornament off of a uh, Nash. Pretty sweet, huh? I don't know why I have lines going across my screen. That's weird. Hopefully, it also don't show up on the thing, but if they do, they do. It is what it is. Uh, some change in there I gotta fish out it's um yeah it's uh kind of nasty in there got this ring it's a pretty cool ring I found a sterling silver ring possibly a piece of gold a sterling silver cup and this <gasps> More change. So, I'll get you guys a count on how much change I found overall. Alright, well, see you at home. Show you some shirts. And I got my truck. I'm like, I forgot about the comics. I found a box of comics. I gotta check these out. Why are there lines on my screen? That is so weird. I hope they don't show up in the video. I don't think that's missing a cover or what. We got uh, Conan 39. We've got, I'm not sure what that is. We got Kazar number eight. I don't know what that is. Masters of Kung Fu 28. Captain Ma. Ma yeah, I can't talk. Captain Marvel 38, Giant Size Master of Kung Fu, number three. It's got a uh, Roger Rabbit, Daredevil, number 124, Daredevil 116, Stampede, or Stamped? I don't know. It's Stampede, I can't tell. Another Master of Kung Fu, number 23. Conan 49, Masters of Kung Fu 26, The Thing and Daredevil number 3, 
submarine strikes tribe man drill Sh shanna the she devil the four master of kung fu 29 master of kung fu 27 conan 52 conan 51 war of the worlds we got doctor strange 14 Satana, the Devil's Daughter, number 27. Doctor Strange, number 9. Luke Cage, Power Man, 22. Low the Raging Battle. Spider Man versus Kazar. And it's got The Coming of Stegron, Dinosaur Man, number 19. Got Luke Cage, Power Man, 24. That has First Appearance of Black Goliath. Man thing and something with something stuck to it. I got this uh, Batman big color activity book. Got this advanced comics thing. And look, we got Masters of the Universe paint with water. Colors appear like magic. Guardians of Eternia. Yeah, that's weird. I don't lie. All right, see you guys in a bit. Yeah, I know. I'm always tired. I know. It's a thing with me. I'm just, I, I'm tired all the time. So, got a fresh batch of shirts out of the wash. These are the ones I found today. I'll show you those first. Because I haven't even seen them cleaned up yet, so I don't know if they cleaned up or not. And, uh, that's these, like, right here. And I've got, like, a bunch more I could show you I tried getting my son to help but he said that's too many shirts I'm not going to do this and he went and off and did other things so whatever so I'm going to try to do this by myself I'm just going to have, have him hold up the shirt and blah 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 but whatever why am I doing shirts because honestly this was like the best thing out of the whole unit was these shirts not gonna lie, besides the Nintendo Power magazines and a few empty Nintendo boxes, and there was a lot of garbage in that locker. I'm not gonna lie. So, anyways, let's see here. I set you guys down. Well, see, I can edit magic, I can edit everything, so it'll be fine. What does this one say? Quicksilver? Was that, uh, that's a band, right? I know, I gotta vacuum my carpet. I got, uh, you know, Legos everywhere. But, that's pretty sweet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Quicksil Quicksilver a band? So is that a band shirt? I think so. Check that out. It's Elf. It's an Elf shirt. That cool or what? Didn't really clean up all that great. I'm sure if somebody really wanted to, they can get those stains out. Oh, there, there, yeah. That's cool. All right, maybe not as cool, but definitely vintage. Georgia's Stone Mountain Park. I mean, hey, vintage is vintage, right? So. Now this one's pretty cool. It actually cleaned up really good. It was just all like bunched up together before. But that's uh that's pretty awesome. ND five hundred. I don't know, what do you call that uh pattern where you can like see through it? I don't know. I'm not a shirt expert, I'm trying to learn here. This one cleaned up pretty good. Nike flight. It's got like the Air Jordan logo on it. Nothing on the back. Show the logo. Screen Stars Best. Made Nusa. This is probably the coolest one I found today. Is that cool or what? Shark Attacks. And it's got like, you know, 
Someone took a bite out of the side of it. Again, a little bit of staining. Don't know if it'll come out or not, but I said I'll let someone else decide. Because when we get to it, I'll show you the shirt that I kind of messed up trying to get the stains out because I didn't know what I was doing. Now this is probably my second favorite that I found today. That's a pretty cool shirt. Chicago Bulls, and it's a starter. A starter shirt. Greatest team ever. It's good size. It came out pretty nice, actually. The colors are awesome on it. I don't mind crap that's on my carpet. I know, I got a vacuum. But uh, yeah, that's uh, real happy with how that one came out. And here's another cool one with a good size. And it came out super clean. Mickey, Walt Disney World. Mickey Ink. Not sure how old it is, but I'm sure we all remember this guy. Miley Cyrus's father, Billy Ray. So I think this would be a concert shirt, right? I said trying to do this by myself. Yeah, made in USA in the back. All right, so this one, this one I think is pretty rare. It's uh, Bugs Bunny and Taz, and it's like a crisscross motif. Oh, this is 1994 Warner Brothers. So the front it shows uh, Bugs, and on the back it shows Taz. So I thought that was a pretty sweet one, actually. This one's pretty cool. The sweatshirt of uh, Joker. DC Comics, 1989. Cleaned up all right. A little screen stars again. So th this one I thought was neat. I don't know if it's particularly valuable. It's an old uh, Adidas, uh, like zippered sweatshirt. Fortunately, it's missing the uh, little tab for the zipper. I don't know if that's gonna greatly decrease value or what, but uh, you know, this guy, whatever that guy's called, but it's in really good shape. This is another one of my favorite ones. Big, bad, and blown. It's a monster truck shirt. It's even got the United States Hot Rod Association logo on it. Got a little, little bit of staining. I'm sure somebody can get it out. Again, it's a good size. I don't think it says anything on the back, but that's that's a really cool one. Check that out. Yeah, this one's like a got like a mesh. It's a Harley Davidson. This is some, oh, it says Harley on the sleeve. Professor's Cycle Products in Materi, Louisiana. That is pretty cool. Hulkamania. Again, a little bit of staining. I'm sure somebody can get it out. This is a ripped shirt. Like, it's supposed to be that way. Again, not particularly valuable, I don't think, but it's pretty cool. Old vintage Texas shirt. This one I thought was kind of funny. It's a Hardy's chicken. It's got crispy chicken on it. I love Hardy's crispy chicken. This one's slightly disappointing because the staining is still on it, and it's a uh, kid's shirt, so it's not uh, it's maybe a small adult or maybe a petite woman or something would, would wear this. But isn't that pretty cool? WWF one. All right, we have a white steak white snake concert tour shirt from what did they say 1987 all right white snake 1988 that's pretty cool this one i'm super bummed about this is the one i tried to give extra attention trying to get stains out and i think i damaged it i went all the way through so it's totally my fault this shirt was actually new with tags it had a little like holographic logo on it like over here and it was oh my god so i'm kind of bummed about this one but it is what it is it's a real good size someone will enjoy this one regardless here's another sweatshirt ucla bruins 
Actually cleaned up pretty nice. And I don't know why I can't get rid of the uh, alert on my phone. There's, yeah, whatever. This one was pretty cool, but again, it's got a little bit of damage on it. Bahamas, Flamingo Beach. Thought this one was cute. It's a kid's shirt. Port Ritchie, Florida. Again, I don't think it's particularly valuable, but it's got a cool uh, design on it. Thought this one was cool. I love horses. It's definitely got some age to it. Is that late late seventies, early eighties? Doesn't say anything on the back. It cleaned up pretty good. No holes in it, I don't think. This one's pretty cool, even though it's a kid shirt and it's got some stains on it. ET. Thought this one was pretty cool. It's a bugle boy. Cleaned up nice. Now this one is really cool. Metallica and Justice for All Tour 88-89. And it's double sided. Is that freaking awesome or what? That's one of my favorite ones. I don't like white shirts, but I would actually wear this. That is so cool. This Elvis one's pretty cool. Oh, and uh, rest in peace, Lisa Marie. She just passed away yesterday. So kind of fitting, I guess, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All this one and the sleeves are pink inside the sleeves. That's pretty cool. And who remembers this guy? Spuds McKenzie. Yeah, official party animal. That shirt's so awesome. What's double-sided? I don't remember. Nope, it is not double-sided. This one's pretty cool. Cancun, Mexico. Cancun, Mexico. Can't say Mexico. Cancun, Mexico. Small fish pond. Uh, not double sided. It's a nice size. It's clean. I like it. And we all feel like this guy at some point in our life. Yep, our field. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool one. A little faded, but it's in good shape. Jordan, Air Jordan. That's an official Nike shirt. And the back side. Pretty awesome. Another Nike one. This one, well, another Jordan one. This one, I believe, is 1992 Barcelona shirt. It's a pretty cool shirt. It's pretty good shape, too. You got a second ET shirt. I got a kid's, another kid's shirt. Pelican Lake, Wisconsin. That's just so cool looking. Now this I just thought was cool because it reminds me of uh, what's his face from Fifty First Dates. Another kid shirt, Disneyland, thirty years. Another kid shirt, Spider Man, Marvel Comics, nineteen seventy eight. Thought this one was pretty cool. Campfire Blue Jays. So would you call this one a muscle shirt? I think. Maui and Sons World Team. That's awesome. So this is pretty cool. Chicago Cubs uh, halter top. A crop top? Crop top or halter top? Crop top, right? Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's a crop top. Yeah, Kenny Rogers, live in concert. Not sure how old it is. Boy, maybe the back says. World Tour, 1984. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A little bit of damage, but this one's pretty cool. I've been told that when this one came out, it was taken off the store shelves because it has hell in it. A little beat up, but it's there. This one's kind of funny because I'm a Ford guy. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to drive Chevys. <laughs> this one's kind of sad. Is, uh obvious standing on it but it's got a cool logo on it to the crocodile and a porsche porsche at last but definitely not least the sweet bart simpson one 1990 pretty good shape overall good size but that's that thing's awesome i remember when the simpsons came out so that's a pretty sweet shirt in my mind 
But uh, yeah, got a uh, mountain of shirts. Really is. <laughs> That's uh, I don't know. Had to weed through a lot of garbage to get these out of there. So I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to sell these yet. Someone told me I should try a whatnot auction. Or just list them one by one on eBay. I just hate selling shirts on eBay. I don't know. Get some ideas from you guys. So, what do you guys think? How should I sell these things? Alright. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.